Hello, hello, and welcome to our YouTube channel, Miriam Leonardo Tango. In this video, we're going to be doing a reverse volcada and checking some points in how to make it properly and where we are taking it from is a backward ocho. So, if we are here, yes, before we start with the video, we would like to thank you for all the comments. We are reading all your comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the likes, everything. We really appreciate because you are supporting our channel to keep growing and growing and growing. So now we're going to show you the figure and where we take it from. It's a reverse volcada. Bacarochos, position, reverse volcada, get together to the cruzada and resolution, or you can connect this with another figure, of yes. course. So, so this is one angle. Yes, one angle. Then later we are going to show you both angles coming from the other side so you can follow along. So things that we are doing here, the way that I enter, and because we are using the line of dance, we are going on that direction, I'm over rotating at the very beginning here. I'm doing this one instead of accompanying her with the backward ocho, I'm just staying in feet together and leading that from the torso around us. So next one, we are going to enter into regular backward ocho, but 90 degrees. Here's the thing. As we take the backward ocho, I'm starting to lift her. I'm changing very much the embrace, not longer under her shoulder blade. I will wrap even more so my forearm is under her shoulder blades. Now, when I rotate, the first thing I'm doing is the connection with my right hip bone. I will rotate a little bit so they can see. Chiki, chiki, chiki. Can you see my right hip bone? Took with her hip bone. This is important. Now, from here, we are going to continue going back to stretch the position. Once we have that, then we can proceed to go around. Walking around, walking around. And the last one, after you finish walking, it'll be closer to her with the right leg. Yes, the right leg got a little, little closer to her to bring her back to axis. And from here, yes, you can exit, you can resolve directly or go to another figure. So for the followers, we have some tips to mm -hmm. be careful and think about it. So you're not rushing the moment. So let me show you that. I have the backward ocho position. This is second backward ocho. I feel like something happened on the embrace. He's closing the embrace and he's lifting me. So instead of going, I feel I have to stop. When I feel I have to stop, instead of feet together, I'm crossing. You could feet together or cross. I like to be crossing because I know this is the end of the move. Now we initiate the next move. I feel like he's rotating, walking, and letting me move the hip to face him. And then I feel a little drop back for the leader and front for the father. So that will be the moment to, okay, this is volcada, reverse volcada. So I have to be careful not to rush the moment, wait for him to move to see what is next. And since he's lifting me, I can step. I'm going for volcada. When um, I see this volcada, I have to move my leg ahead of the leader. Look at this. I have to follow the torso. My leg is going to where he walks. I will move my leg ahead of the leader. So he's not going to step on me. I will continue you See that, walking. see that. I'm moving the leg ahead. First, first, uh, sliding around, keeping the position at the end, back to my axis to walk from here. So it's very important for you to be aware of moving your leg. Keep action on your leg. Don't drop the leg there. Mm -hmm. And you move the torso and the leg stays there because he will step on you. Yep, I was See, he that. will step on you. So you have to be aware that he's walking this way means his legs are walking backwards. So they will step on my toe. So when I'm moving with my torso, my this is the move I do. I go together, leg together with my leg together, leg pivoting leg. Mm -hmm. I will not do this. Look, right. follow him and leave the leg there. Because yeah. then he steps on you. So very important. Action on your leg. You are creating the circle around with your left leg. Following the leader, keep the same speed, but don't get the lazy leg. Yeah. Okay? Action on your leg. Go around, create the circle, larger circle or small, but the leg is moving ahead of the steps of the leader. Yes, before we show you from another angle from here and the real timing, we would like to recommend to you to check our website, mediumleonardotango.com, 
We have online tango training, not only online tango training, that we have over 250 courses for you. Uh, we have also specifically downloadable courses, and one of them is Volcadas. Volcadas and we have volume, all of them. Yeah, two actually, Volcadas Volume 1 and Volcadas Volume 2. And we have reverse Volcadas and different reverse Volcadas with follow-along exercises, all the technique in depth, so you name it. Check that out. This reverse Volcada can be done on social dancing at the Milonga, or for stage, if it's mm -hmm. larger, of course. Can we do this again one more time from the other angle? Yep. Very close embrace and see the work, how you can do this for navigation. You can use it on the corners, you can go back to the line of dance, rotating whatever you need using the reverse volcada. So we do side step, back ocho, second ocho, we close embrace, we going out for the reverse volcada, back to line of dance. Okay, so you can use this anytime when you need to go back to line of dance. And it's beautiful, it doesn't need a lot of space if you keep it lifting up. Yeah. So her leg is beautiful going around. Or if you are alone on the floor and doing an exhibition, you can lower it so the leg goes more out and it looks so beautiful. Once again, thank you very, 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 very much. If you enjoyed the video, a like will be much appreciated. <laughs> and thank you for your support. Thank you, see you on the next one. Bye.